Energy storage is undoubtedly the next frontier for the renewable energy revolution. When the wind is not blowing or the sun is not shining, you simply can't produce enough clean energy to offset fossil fuel resources. And when those resources are shining, in some cases it can strain the electric grid, causing wide-scale blackouts and excessive peak demand charges. Because of this, the energy storage market is expected to grow to almost $15 billion by 2027 at a compound annual growth rate of more than 35%. So what exactly are the types of technologies out there enabling for this energy storage movement, and how can you as an individual investor take advantage? Well, that question is exactly what I want to address in this video. But as usual, guys, before we get into it, make sure to drop me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Yes, you heard that right. The battery energy storage market is absolutely huge. You obviously don't hear a lot about this technology talked about on social media and on the news, but there are rapid developments taking place in the background to ensure that solar and wind projects actually work effectively. As I'm sure we're all familiar, batteries in the lithium ion space are extremely efficient and effective at storing energy for short durations. This technology has obviously been commercialized at an insane scale in the consumer electronics and now the electric vehicle business. But because the grid also needs storage, at least for short term purposes, batteries can also help with that. And the main benefits batteries provide are the ability to peak shave during times of excess demand and moving energy during times of low demand. Frequency regulation for AC powered systems is also an important factor that batteries can help with, along with spot market trading and self consumption when there might be a blackout. However, even just in the battery segment, there are multiple different companies playing in the energy storage space, which can make it difficult to understand which businesses you would like to invest in and which businesses actually have the chance of survival. So to make things easy, I'm just going to list out some of the publicly traded companies in the energy storage space. And one of these companies is by the name of Fluence, which actually is a joint venture between Siemens and AES. This company offers a fully integrated battery storage product called the grid stack, which is modular and can be easily connected to an AC or DC power source. It can be scaled up to both kilowatt and megawatt source media, which obviously make it very easy to be integrated with solar or wind resources. The primary customers are not only just utilities, but also independent power producers that might be investing in solar assets, not only for residential neighborhoods, but also to increase their overall reliability. Because as we've clearly seen, the electric grid is not immune to blackouts, which obviously can disrupt critical areas like hospitals and data centers. This company was also just recently added to the public markets and offers solutions that typically offer discharge durations anywhere from one hour to six hours, scaling up to almost 500 megawatts. However, Fluence is not the only publicly traded energy storage company. STEM is also another player in this area, which is much younger and growing at a faster rate than Fluence. This company offers a very similar value proposition to Fluence, except they use a different model for marketing it to consumers. Plus, what sets them apart is their acquisition of also energy, which happened to be the number one solar and storage monitoring software vendor in 2022. This can allow STEM to be an enabler of solar plus storage projects much faster than other companies, because obviously solar tends to get paired with energy storage the most because of its low efficiency and highly weather dependent nature. STEM can obviously have an easier time reaching out to corporate businesses that might be operating in that area. On top of that, STEM also has its own AI driven solution by the name of Athena, which allows for monitoring and complete real time acquisition of data to make sure voltage and frequencies are regulated and any off peak hour energy is stored appropriately. We have yet to see how STEM's AI software actually increases returns for its customers because of its very early stage but it is obviously an incredibly high margin software revenue stream that could add to this company's valuation over the long term. 
However, when it comes to energy storage, batteries are actually not the only solution out there. And because of their limitations when it comes to degradation, discharge durations, and low energy density, there are new technologies currently being explored and new companies going public. And one of those technologies is called the flow battery, which is essentially a way of storing energy over a much longer duration than lithium ion battery technology. The cost of this technology are high in the short term, but obviously with scale prices will come down and the value proposition it provides is undeniable to the electric grid. Because now if you can store energy for more than a day to multiple weeks and multiple months, people are going to be investing in you like crazy to optimize their own solar projects. A couple of the companies in this space currently include ESS Tech, which is offering iron flow battery technology for durations of more than 24 to 50 hours. Their energy storage solution is safer and easier to integrate in a container compared to hydropower or large scale thermon, allowing it to be much more effective at storing energy over long durations than lithium ion batteries, but also being easier to integrate for smaller businesses. And apparently their batteries don't use critical materials like vanadium, lithium, or cobalt, which makes them offer some of the lowest cost per kilowatt hour for long duration storage. Now it's important to keep in mind this company is in a very early stage and has done less than $1 million of revenue over the past 12 months. But if you understand the technology, the prospects for this specific company do look quite interesting. However, because of just how competitive this space is becoming, ESS is not your only option if you want to invest in alternative chemistries. Zinc powered solutions are also hitting the market through the EOS cube, which aims to offer lower energy degradation and lower self discharge during static idles. This company also happens to be publicly traded, having gone IPO over the past two years. It also happens to do a little bit more revenue than ESS at around $18 million. Their containerized and plug and play solution definitely looks very promising for any businesses looking to perform front of the meter or behind the meter storage. However, it'll be interesting to see how their zinc powered system offers cost advantages over lithium ion, which obviously has the benefit of economies of scale. But regardless, their higher power density and smaller form factor is certainly a good value proposition for companies investing in them. But as usual guys, make sure you do your own research if you're considering investing in any one of these businesses. I certainly think there's a lot of room for most of these businesses to grow in a market that is just so big. And it's going to be interesting to see how these different technologies translate from R&D onto the market. As usual, guys, make sure to drop me a thumbs up if you found some value from this video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.